All right, guys, my name is Shervin. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Quest Trade and why it is the best broker in Canada. Now, when it comes to investing, one of the most important decisions that you have to make is which broker to go with. Of course, depending on which broker you choose, there could be a lot of implications as far as how much you're paying on commissions, which assets you're able to invest into, and what options do you have on your investments once you have invested into them. Now here in Canada, all the major banks such as CIBC or TD have their own brokerages, but there are also other brokers such as Questrade, Wealthsimple, and Interactive Brokers. Now, given that there are so many different options to choose from, it might be difficult to know which one is the right option for you. But don't you worry, because if you watch till the end of this video, you're going to find out exactly why Questrade is the best option for 95% of investors out there and why you should go with that one over all the other options. But of course, there's one more thing that is even more important than picking the right broker, and that is to smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Now, it only takes you a second to do, but it helps me out a lot when it comes to other people on YouTube finding my videos. So if you could take the time and do it, I'd really appreciate it. But with all that said, let's first talk about what are the most frequently asked questions about Questrade, and that is how safe is it really? Now, just like all major banks in Canada, Questrade is regulated by the IIROC, which stands for the Investment Industry Regulatory Organization of Canada. Now, on top of that, Questrade accounts are also insured by the CIPF, which stands for the Canadian Investor Protection Fund. In fact, to be more specific, each account with Questrade is insured up to $10 million. That means that if somehow Questrade goes bankrupt, all the money that you have in your account will not be lost. In fact, it will all be returned to you through CIPF up to $10 million. Now, this is all to say that if you invest with Questrade, your money is in safe hands and you don't have anything to worry about. But now that we have described the safety aspect, let's talk about how much commissions you will be charged when you're making a trade. Now, anytime you buy or sell stocks, you will be charged $4.95 in the form of commissions. Now, this is not going to apply to a lot of people, but if you do buy a lot of shares at once, particularly more than 495 shares, then you will be charged one cent per share up to $9.95. But that's it, you don't have to worry about that because 95% of people out there are never going to buy that many shares at once. And even if you do, the difference from $5 to $10 is pretty negligible, all things considered. Now, this is where it gets interesting because if you're buying ETFs or bonds, you will be charged $0 in commissions for purchasing. You will only be charged commissions when selling. So if you are someone who mainly invests into ETFs and index funds, then Questrade is clearly the right choice for you, as you will be charged no commissions whatsoever until the moment that you sell them. And really, you should be investing into ETFs for the long term anyways, so you shouldn't even look to sell them anytime soon. Now, even the $4.95 that you're being charged as commissions on buying stocks is a lot better than a lot of the competition out there. Now, for reference, all the major bank brokerages, such as CIBC Investors Edge or TD Direct Investing, will charge you $9.95 for every time you buy stocks. Now, obviously, this means that with Questrade, you're only paying half the commissions that you would have with any of the major bank brokerages. Now, of course, some might point to the fact that a broker like Wealthsimple doesn't charge any commissions on the stocks that you buy or sell. Now, even though that is technically true, first of all, they charge a lot more on conversion from USD to Canadian dollars and Canadian dollars to USD. Second, Wealthsimple is only available on mobile devices, so it's a lot more restrictive as far as how you can use it. And third, it doesn't even have all the assets that you could invest into. It only has some of the bonds and some of the stocks available in the market. So even though that platform doesn't have any commissions, it does have a lot of drawbacks compared to Questrade. Now, unlike Wealthsimple, Questrade is available both on desktop and also on mobile devices. So as a result of that, you have a lot more freedom as far as how you interact with your portfolio throughout your day. Now, one of the things that I really like about Questrade is how easy it is to use and also how user-friendly it is compared to some other brokers such as interactive brokers. Now, Interactive Brokers is another broker that has very low commissions and has a lot of tools available for professional use, specifically for those who want to day trade. But that said, for the average people, it is a lot harder to use. It's not as user friendly and also their mobile app is not that great. Now, of course, this could change in the future and they might update the phone app to be a lot better than it is right now. But as of right now, the Questrade app is much better than all the other brokers. And really, that's how I would distinctify interactive brokers and Questrade. I would say that if you are someone who is doing it professionally and you want to maybe day trade more than investing for the long term, then you should probably go with interactive brokers because it gives you a lot more tools. 
But on the other hand, if you're just someone that is investing for the long term and not doing anything crazy with your investments, then Quest Trade, in my opinion, is just the better option. Now, you will end up paying a little bit more commissions with Quest Trade compared to interactive brokers. But again, remember, with Quest Trade, if you're investing into ETFs, it doesn't cost you any commissions. If you're investing into bonds, it doesn't cost you any commissions. It's only when you're buying stocks. So really, at the end of the day, you're not going to pay that much more when you're using Quest Trade over interactive brokers. And I would just rather pay that little bit more just to get the better user experience and be able to interact with my portfolio on my phone and also on my desktop. And again, I can't stress this enough, but with Questrade, you have access to pretty much all the assets available in the market, so you're free to invest as you please. So overall, I believe Questrade is the way to go for those who are investing for the long term, and for others who are doing stuff like short-term investing or day trading, they might want to go with interactive brokers. All right, so that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below and join the community. I make three new videos a week on personal finance and investing. And by subscribing to the channel, you get to see all my new videos right as they come out. Also, as always, if you have any questions about any of the stuff that we talked about today, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. I always respond to every single question that comes in. All right, so with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.